Okay, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to create text with a shadow. And we're using Inkscape. And the version of Inkscape I am using is 0 0.92. I tried using version 1.0, but there's something flaky about this, and this process doesn't work quite that well. So we'll start by typing in some text. The text I'm going to use is Corget. And so I'll just type in my text, one line at a time. Hit my Select tool, select them all, and I'm going to come up to Object and Align and Distribute. And that will open up my Align and Distribute window over here. So I'm going to align them vertically, and then I'm going to distribute them vertically. Then I'll right-click, and I'm going to duplicate. And then I will come up here to Path, and I am going to Offset. So out set once. And I'm going to expand here to see what it looks like. And you'll notice down here on the bottom one, it left some holes in there, which we don't want. So I am going to add a couple of circles there just to cover those. Then I'm going to select them all. And I'll come up to Path and Union. Now I'm going to come over here to my text and I'm going to go Path and Union, Path and Union, and Path and Union for each of my text. Select them all and I'm going to change the color to yellow and I am going to go to Object And I am going to raise to the top. And I'll just scoot this over. Then one at a time, I'm going to distribute these onto their shadows. And then once I've got that, I am going to right click and I'm going to group them together. And I'm going to do a file and save as. I'm going to save it as a plain SVG. It's going to default to Inkscape SVG, but you want to change that to plain SVG. And I'm going to give it a name. I'll call it uh, Always and Forever. And then I also like to make a note of whatever font I'm using. So I'm using the Core Get font and also Inkscape. Let me put a dash in here. So this tells me it's an always and forever using the Core Get font, which I created in Inkscape and then I'll just save it. Okay, now I'm in my Cricut Design Space, and so I'm going to come to Upload, and Upload Image, and I am going to browse to the file that I just saved from Inkscape. And that's this one right here. And save it. And we can select it now and insert the images. And we'll expand it up so that we can see what we're doing. Okay, I'm going to right click and I'm going to ungroup them so that if needed, I can move them away separately. And so this is the way you can get your uh, shadows for your text. If we come to make it, 
it will cut it out on the two different screens. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.